All right, guys, so in this video, we do have major updates. Rasmussen has come out. They've got their daily poll, and they've still got Trump up. And with everything that's going on right now, I, I, I mean, this is from leading report. Well, you know, sometimes leading report is in, but, but let's see, breaking. Congressional Democrats want Kamala Harris to wait until after the election, not after the DNC, not after the DNC, but after the election to give her policy agenda. This has got to be fake. Fake. There's no way. This this cannot be. This is prohibited. You have to tell. This is democracy. You have to tell us what you're gonna do, so we know if we can vote for you or not. This is one of the dumbest things I've seen. And you know what? They were kind of rewarded with all the fake polls and all the things that came out. Make no mistake about it. I'm not gonna be in denial. Kamala is definitely doing better than Biden was. Now, part of that is because Biden wasn't getting any funded any funding. Also, Biden is like 95 years old. It doesn't help that. His dog's running around everywhere, biting everyone, humping everyone. So he was very unlikable. So she's going to do better. And I'm admitting she's doing better. I'm not going to cope about it. But but we're seeing all the fake polls. And guys, what am I supposed to say with this? They're telling her not to share policy agenda until after people vote for her? Folks, what are we doing here? Come on, guys. We're not this stupid. We're really, really not this stupid. We've got a weird poll uh, from the New York Times. Was this today that that was released? Because I saw this. Oh yeah, this is so. This was pulled August fifteenth or August eighth through fifteenth. Let's take a look at what this says. And people were like surprised by this. You can see these are some very strange numbers in both directions. Arizona, they've got Harris plus five. North Carolina, they've got Harris plus two. Nevada, Trump plus one, and then Georgia, Trump is sitting plus four. So a little bit surprising, you look at Arizona and Georgia, you would think Arizona might even be better, but there's a, like a nine point discrepancy to where Harris is leading by five and then Trump's leading by four and North Carolina, Harris is up by two and Libs just cannot get rid of North Carolina. They're obsessed with making it a swing state. Give up North Carolina, Trump won it in 2020 and 2016. This is like Florida again when they said, oh, Florida's back in play now. I'm getting sick and tired of talking about North Carolina, but North Carolina technically is still a swing state. We've got this. Take a look at this little liberal bitch. If Trump proposed a ban on corporate price gouging, every Republican on here would be deep throating his little meat. Isn't this the guy that like like bleached his hair? B but this is what he says. Oh yeah, he's got a lot of room to talk. I mean, you see this guy in public, he'll shrivel up like a little raisin. But no, no, no. He's gonna tell us. Oh yeah, we're gonna tr we're gonna suck Trump's dick if he proposed communism. Why would Donald Trump propose communist ideology? This is a false equivalency. And then they act like, oh, all people do is worship Trump. There's a movement by the far right in our party that actually doesn't like Trump at all. But no, 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 we're the cult people. Kamala Harris had, the, had, the, had one of the worst approval ratings of any VP in history. Now she's loved by everyone after doing nothing. And actually, I mean, she's being told now, it was said, her advisors are saying, I mean, please, you're such a train wreck. We know you're running for president, but but you can't share your policy. I mean, you're just so bad at everything. Just shut up and do a rally with like 300 people in a preschool garage or something. And there'll be like 10 people there. There's more cameras. The cameras produce more heat than the people there with their, their body heat. It's, it's unbelievable. That just happened at the last rally. There's, there's like 70 cameras. There's like 30 people. The people are like, oh my God, the cameras are so hot. I have to leave. There's too many cameras. There's, there's not enough people because the rallies are so small. And this dude who like bleached his hair, he's a beta male. He's he's trying to say that, oh, we're gonna, I mean, Republicans, there's, I mean, there's far right people that hate Trump. I mean, it, it, there's people that really criticize Trump for the vaccine. Trump's done some stuff that's not been good. Nobody's saying Trump's perfect, but we just don't want our rights taken away. And I don't even think that's like, oh, you're being overdramatic. No, no, no. They want to take the rights away and, and they want more immigrants into the country. We saw what happened with the UK. We saw what happened with France. You've got the immigrants who are migrating from their countries, like, like, like doing a mock invasion to where they, they raise the flag after rioting and, and they raise their home, their homeland flag like they conquered the country. And, and it's just white guilt that lets them in. We have to let them in. We have to let them in. And so he says, oh, if Trump became a communist, Republicans would love him, huh? Why would Trump propose communism? It's just such a false, it's just such a false narrative, but this is what they have to stoop to. It's pathetic. 
Um, you've also got this. I thought this was funny. The containers surrounding the chips cost more money than the chips themselves. I mean, I mean, they got containers locked up right now in San Francisco, in these big cities because the crime's so bad. But I'm starting to think, is it really even worth it? I mean, the containers cost more money. It's a $2. I guess you could reuse it. You could reuse it. But I mean, that just shows you how bad. They got Cool Ranch locked up. I loved eating Cool Ranch when I was younger. We've also got Rasmussen coming out and saying that uh, Donald Trump is maintaining his lead. He's up by two at this point. Remember, they poll every day. And you can see they even said that that Kamala went up and now Trump has been maintaining a two-point lead the past few days. At a certain point, they did have Trump up by 10. It's, it's come back down, but they even had Kamala up during her big surge. And so right now, this head-to-head polling is very great. And it's a small sample for sure, but I do like that Rasmussen does this head-to-head polling and they've been one of the first people, I mean, now they're saying they're doing a Virginia poll and everyone's been saying we need to see Virginia polls. I know there was a tweet yesterday, the decision desk has really got to stop doing this. They came out and they're like, oh, these are new polls in in Virginia and it's tied. And all the polls were before they even installed Kamala. So why even tweet that out? It's for engagement, but still, the decision desk has got to stop doing that. But uh, Rasmussen has been uh, pretty, I mean, you can see RFK. I think RFK has got to drop out pretty soon. I mean, you would think, and Rasmussen comes out with these videos and they say, how biased it is, and they say there's a polling embargo where there's not a lot of polls coming out. You know what? Let me actually take a look at this and see how many polls we got. Let's just take a look, see all the polls. We have zero polls today, really? I thought the New York Times had, or was that, or did they already release it? Or maybe this is not up to, or maybe I didn't refresh this properly. Yeah, I didn't refresh properly. So yeah, these are legitimate New York Times polls. Harris plus five, Trump plus four, Trump plus one, Harris plus two. Harris plus four when you include, so Trump gains a point in Arizona, Trump uh, loses a point in Georgia, and then looks like Trump gains a point there, and then nothing changes there. And you've got Kerry Lake down by nine. There was a poll that had Kerry Lake winning by like a lot. Of course, they didn't add it to the, they didn't add it to the aggregate. There's a shocker. I'm not saying it's a good pollster, but I mean, it seems like whenever there's a good Republican poll, they never add it. I'm just saying. But listen, you've got, look, when it comes to this, I will say the other thing that people are looking at, we are looking at the betting and we've seen the last time I updated it, it was during a live stream and it was Kamala at 54 and Trump at 44. And so it's come back just like I predicted. And I would expect Trump to take the lead relatively soon. You can see more money has been placed on Trump, but because of their waiting, they have Harris in the lead. Look at that 72 million versus 61. So, so Trump really is the favorite but they have a waiting thing and they base it off of polls. There's no real intel. This is the aggregate general populace doing these bets. It's it's really no intel. So, And even if they are setting odds and changing the formula to have someone be the favorite, they're basing it off of polls. There's no internal data. These are all polls. Why did Kamala Harris go so far ahead? She started leading all the swing states. It doesn't take a neurosurgeon to realize what's going on here. The the betting reacts to the polls nine times out of 10. The only time the betting will be ahead of the polls is if there's a major event that just happened, like the assassination attempt on Trump. Obviously, that's going to push Trump up in terms of the betting because people are immediately going to bet on him to win. In the polls, it takes longer, takes multiple days for them to actually get the data and put it out to show it and reflect it. So only a big time, real time event will change the polls as opposed to normally these, or normally when it comes to betting, they just react off the polls. If there's a new poll that has Kamal Harris up by nine in Pennsylvania, she's probably going to go up one or two points in terms of the election. That's just the reality. I am kind of annoyed that they don't have that uh, graph. Normally they do have a, a graph, but you can see, I mean, it's just Trump versus Kamala, everyone else. RFK, I think he's going to drop out at some point. I've said that for a while now. Michelle Obama, it's just... It's going to be Trump versus Kamala. We know that at this point. We can try and find some other stuff. Do that. I wonder if they have one. Will RFK drop out? That, that that's that's a good uh that's a good question. Popular vote winner Kamala Harris. I think there's great value on Trump. There's great value on Trump. Trump either loses the popular vote by less than one or he wins it. Georgia, they've got Trump at around sixty percent chance. Will Kamala be replaced? Basically a zero percent chance. What will Trump say during the Saturday rally? So that's going on right now. I'm sure he will say MAGA 90. Well, maybe maybe they got like some bets on on if he'll say crypto or something like that. Uh, tampon, 70% chance. Illegal immigrant three times. Fake news. 
Drill Baby Drill, Bitcoin 10% chance, Elon 81% chance, Crypto 9% chance. Uh, so there's just some fun bets there. Obviously, that's not a, any type of huge metric to look at. But you have also do have some other stuff. Harris Waltz, Democratic ticket, 94% chance. Biden finishing his first term, 86% chance. There's been talk about possibly removing Biden in September or October to give Kamala another honeymoon period. Although I don't really think that that's how that would really work. Personally, will J.D. Vance be replaced? That's all Democrat propaganda. I mean, that's all, that's ridiculous when people talk about that. And uh, who will speak at the DNC? Yeah, we got the DNC coming up. I mean, Monday's a big night, man. Monday's a big night for live streaming. Let me just say that apparently you've got Elon Musk and Trump and you've got the DNC with Biden speaking. You've got Biden crying right here. Biden resigning from presidency by the 31st, a 2% chance of that. But uh, yeah, so I don't think there is one with RFK dropping out. That seems like a good one to do. Number of debates they'll have. Yeah, so it's looking like they're going to have two debates for sure unless something happens. Trump in jail, 5% chance. It's not going to happen. Tipping point state should be Pennsylvania. I agree. But those are just, you've got Virginia, 87% chance. China invading Taiwan, 9% chance. That's in 2024. Uh, and uh, so guys, that is prob that, that's that's going to do it for this video. But listen, I'll say the polls are better and better for Trump. And now we've got Democrats coming out and admitting and saying Kamala should not talk about her policy until after she's elected. I don't know how that's even possible. What's the point of having an election? You want to talk about a monkey kangaroo system? This is, oh yeah, she's going to win. We're not going to tell you really any policy because when she tried to talk policy, she became a communist, but, but we're not going to talk any policy. We're, you, you just vote for her and then we'll tell you what she's going to do after she gets in. Isn't that, I mean, you want to talk about threats of democracy. That's the whole point of democracy. You're supposed to tell us what you're going to do so we can vote for you or vote against you. This is unbelievable. But either way, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on X. Link to that's always in the description.